What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. Got the new GoPro going right now as well. So we're gonna try to do a bunch of different footage in this film from different angles and whatnot. It'll probably be a pretty cool learning experience. Also probably be a lot more work, but it is October 2nd, first weekend in October. Also the Medtronic Twin Cities Marathon weekend. If you saw my post a while back, I mentioned that. So I am not running the marathon this weekend, but what I am doing is finishing up day 41 of 75 hard right now. And then tonight, I for that, I will be doing a by and back workout as well as hamstring. And then tomorrow, I am doing my first 5K time trial. You can excuse the hair, it looks really bad. I am doing my first 5K time trial with a few friends. And then I get to go immediately after that and go do, actually what will be my first ever CrossFit workout and I'm expecting it to completely wreck me. And so I figured it'd be a good time to film that and throw that on YouTube so that everyone can see that. If I'm learning anything from making videos, it's that I need to take more videos. And so that's what I'm doing. And I'm actually starting the night before and this video will go over a two day span. I'm gonna show you just a little bit of my bicep and back workout tonight. And then I'm going to also show you what I'm eating tonight. I'll show you my morning and uh, the 5K results as well as the CrossFit workout. And I'll get, his name is Wyatt. He'll be introducing that and talking us through what we're doing for that workout. That one's gonna be super sick. And then on the video after that, I'm gonna turn this off once I actually get on the freeway. But I'm just going down my gravel road on my house right now. First weekend in October, I'm super pumped. It's Friday. I'm going to be going to do a bicep and back workout right now. And then I'm doing my first 5K time trial tomorrow, which will be super sick. I'm hoping to go around 21, hopefully under 21 for it. All right, we've made it to my destination. We go inside and get this lift over with. Buys and back is actually probably my favorite day of the week, so I'm pretty hyped about this. It's 9.20 p.m. now, so you just saw my bicep and back workout. I took it a little lighter on my hamstrings because I'm running that 5K tomorrow. I didn't want to be super sore. Post-workout had some protein sludge and a rice garbanzo bean vegetable dish of sorts, like a stir fry. Gonna go in and shower, get ready for bed. Try to get to bed by 10 p.m. and then get up at like 5.30 so I can get a good night of sleep and i will check back in with you all tomorrow morning yo it's the morning now i always start every morning by drinking 30 ounces of water and i don't chug this right when i get up probably takes about an hour and a half to finish it but i drink half probably right when i get up so i'm about to do that after this video and then i'm going to make some coffee and oatmeal and i will show you all those finished products and then I'm going to read my book um, and just try to do a little bit of work to wake up a little bit on my laptop before I head out to Keen's and I'm riding with him to the cities. Cheers. So about half. That's the only part I really chug just to like get water and get that energy instantly in me and i notice right away pretty much i just wake up immediately and drinking coffee is more just because i like to drink coffee so i highly recommend if you're not drinking a lot of water just start doing that you don't have to drink a gallon a day start at literally 32 ounces a day and work your way up if you try to drink a gallon a day your first day you're probably gonna have to pee in a normal amount and i already do pee in a normal amount but I can't imagine if I wasn't used to drinking this much water at this point and trying to just jump to a gallon. It'd be pretty rough. So next up, coffee and reading. Eighty pages in now to this book. So 
by Colin O'Brady, if you don't know who that is. He is the first guy to ever cross Antarctica completely by himself. And he does a lot of other just crazy mental challenges. So, I'd highly recommend checking him out. Now I'm heading out to Keen's house. Gonna go carpool with him down to the cities. I'm pretty excited about this 5K. I haven't felt race jitters in a while, so it's, it's pretty sweet to be doing this. We are on our way to the cities now. We picked up a straggler as well. Hi. What do you have to say for yourself? Go ahead, introduce yourself. I am Tim. We're heading, we're gonna hit a like 10 minute run back to the cars and then after that head to Wyatt's. You went to a CrossFit gym, generally the procedure is you walk in, you'll spend five minutes, the, the uh, trainer will tell you what you're gonna be doing. 15 minutes of warming up, 20 minutes of strength portion, and then 20 minutes of just the CrossFit actual workout. That's like, if you ever go to a CrossFit gym, that's literally what every single gym does. Same everywhere you go. It's pretty standard. Yeah, pretty standard, mm -hmm. it's one hour class. 15 minutes warming up, 20 minutes strength, 20 minutes uh, CrossFit, but I don't really like it because it's not enough time. I mean, 20 minutes, like, I, I'll take 45 minutes. If I'm working up to a heavy squat, I'll take 45 minutes just to get up to like a heavy yeah. set of, if I'm doing a heavy set of five. Yeah. Circle up everyone. <laughs> I'm just gonna do some air squats for a while until my joints. Right. We're going to, today, it'll be a little different than CrossFit class, so we're gonna do just squats for the sets I sent you. So it'll be three sets of 10 reps at 50%, four sets of seven reps at 60%, and five sets of four reps at 70%. So 12 sets, 78 reps. Yeah, so we'll do that. Um, yeah, so we'll do back squats, hang power cleans, and then we'll go right into the CrossFit workout. That's sweet. It's a 21 minute, what is it? 21 minute AMRAP. So I'll, I'll write it down on okay. the ground here. AMRAP, 21 minutes, as many reps as possible. So what it's supposed to be is you wanna do all these sets unbroken if you can. So like for me, it's gonna be 10 reverse lunges. And then once I finish my 10, you're gonna bring it from here and you're gonna do 10 hang power cleans. Once you finish your 10 power cleans, you're gonna drop the bar. You're gonna do 10 bar facing burpees. And then lastly on it, 250 meter row. Once you start the row, the next person can start doing it. It'll be pretty good since it's a relay. We're just gonna be going in like in order and you have rest between. So you're gonna go like really hard. What was your favorite part about it? My favorite part was um, when I thought I was going to have a brain aneurysm doing uh, cleans. I think that was probably my favorite part. What was your least favorite part then? Uh, when I didn't have an aneurysm from doing cleans. <laughs> all right. All in all, it was a very good last 24 hours or so. And I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I had a really good time. APR my 5K. That was sick and hurt. B, the crossfit workout was also really cool, and my legs are more and more tired by the minute, so I'm really interested to see how sore I am tomorrow. Definitely going to check in one more time. So, I had to follow up the run. I had a tofu scramble for lunch. Didn't take a video of that, but it was really good. It's basically like an egg substitute. Had that with some peanut butter toast and ketchup on it and then made like a little sandwich as well with my piece of toast it was super dope and then for dinner i had a smoothie and some like tofu fried rice-esque stuff and a pan with vegetables in it 
That was also very good. I finished up day 42 of 75 hard, and now we're about to head to bed and get up and get after it tomorrow morning. So I'll check in one more time tomorrow morning and let you know how my legs are feeling before I hit the 45-minute Peloton Tabata ride in the morning. See you then. Peace. Okay, last time checking in. Weekend is officially, not officially over. The weekend is almost over now. I am so exhausted today from yesterday's workouts. And I, like throughout the day, I've just gotten more and more tired. This is the first day of 75 hard as well, where I really did not want to do it. Didn't actually ever think about quitting. I knew I was going to push through it, but I wanted to eat junk food and I really wanted to not do the workout I'm about to do, but I'm going to do it anyways. And so, yeah, uh, it was fun filming this video. Special shout out to Wyatt again. That was super dope. Let us come over and use your gym. Key and Tim, as always, it's fun working out with you as well. So I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.